While the Biden administration announced today that border encounters with migrants are down 40 percent, that is three weeks after President Biden's order to halt the asylum processing. But Republicans say the numbers don't add up and view today's trip by DHS Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas as an election year gimmick. Capitol Hill correspondent Eric Rosales joins us now with the latest. Eric. Well, good evening, Tracy. You know, this was the secretary's first visit to the border since his failed impeachment vote in the Senate. At the news conference in the Tucson, Arizona sector near the border, the secretary first scolded Congress for not passing the border agreement, which he says would have added border agents to the force. He then touted a decrease in illegal migrant numbers after President Biden's executive action and claims arrests have fallen more than 40 percent since Biden changed the asylum process. The president's actions are working because of their tough response to illegal crossings and because they built on our sustained effort to exercise our full authorities to enforce the law and impose consequences for illegal entry. I asked Democratic leaders about the secretary's visit and the latest decrease in arrest numbers. I think the data is very clear. Um, the, the, the volume of individuals claiming asylum at the, at the southern border is down. Joe Biden has been uh, leading on these issues. Uh, he strongly believes in securing our border. Secretary Mayorkas is uh, down at the Tucson border today, uh, touting President Biden's 40% uh, drop in the asylum process. Your thoughts on that, sir? I shudder to think that anybody, Mayorkas or anybody in his, um, you know, in that chain of leadership could go to the, to go to the border and try to pretend like they've done something positive for the country. For them to try to tout anything as a win is, is detestable to me. Border state lawmakers agree. It's another attempt uh, for them to, you know, lie to the American people, make the American people think that they're actually doing something about the border. They've had three and a half years to do something about the border. The former U.S. Border Patrol chief says the Biden administration is tone deaf about the crisis and the numbers don't lie. When you look at gotaways, more have entered the country illegally since President Biden took office. From fiscal years 2021 to 2023, there were 1.6 million gotaways. Compared to a decade prior, when 1.4 million got in. We're still in record territory, even though they've, they've noted a downturn in activity. We're still in record territory. You're still, at, at today's pace, you still have a million people that are going to be encountered by CBP in, in a year's time. Earlier today, Secretary Mayorkas reiterated only Congress can fix a broken immigration system, but Republicans fired back and said the system worked just fine under former President Donald Trump. And by the way, the House will vote on the 2025 budget for DHS later this week, and there is an amendment to cut Secretary Mayorkas' salary to just $1. Realistically, even if the House does pass the nearly $65 billion funding bill, it's dead on arrival in the Senate in its current form because of the Republican amendments.